Hey guys, okay, I'm going to cover the uh, Moji Pro version 3.1 updates real quick. There were three bug fixes, and that's all we did with it. And that's it for bug fixes that we're aware of. And the next thing we're going to do is going to be the server-side work. Uh, everything we're going to do from here is about server-side. So that's going to be the whole next version of the software we're putting out. Anyway, um, 3.1. So that means this, and you're going to want to keep this in mind. The install the Moji HP UAP project is now an updated link with updated files in it. You're going to want to re-download it. It's still called the 2mojihp.zip. Okay, you're still going to put it in the same place and all that. Uh, but you're going to install the new Moji Pro version 3.1 interface that you find in there so that when you open the Moji Pro, it says version 3.1 now up here instead of just 3.0. Okay, and also... The point is that the files are different now, okay? The files are actually different um, because of an update that we did on that 3.1. All right, so what are those bug updates? There are three of them, and they're the last known bug updates, and we're finally past all that. Now, oh, yeah, the other thing I want to point out, um, the other thing done also is going to be, hello, let me go back. Okay, so this, that's the new link, and that's what I want to point out here about the Moji Pro version 3.1, okay? The 2Moji HP project, but this time it's new file. So rename your old one, like 2-Moji-HP-Old or whatever, if you have important information in there to transfer over. Uh, but then now we've got this. This is going to be your new 2-Moji-HP file, okay? Uh, but it operates the exact same way, installs the exact same way. Okay. The other thing, the two new UAP templates, okay, the ARD and the CUBER that you see that we have, those things, or the CUBE, are formulated to work just like the 2 GHB. They are also updated. So if you got either one of these or both of these, then these are now different too. All right, so the links you got for installing these, whenever you picked one up, okay, they each had their own thing and you bought it, okay? And so when that happened and you got it, then you were able to, uh, get those download links, go back to those download links and download the updated version that works with the new V3.1. Okay. All right. So having said that, that covers that. Now, what I want to say is they have all been updated. The regular HP project, the art project and the Q project are all updated for 64 bit, 32 bit and so on. So if you go in, Let's just cover really fast what the differences are. Wait, if I go here, then of course, this is the point. You would normally go to your 2 HB and you go to the Get HB Requirements, and that's what's changed. Moji Pro V3.1 now. Everything else is identically the same. Don't worry about any of it, but this. And then just simply install the new one. Use your same email, your same license key, and continue and install it. It'll overwrite the old version, and you'll have the new 3.1. Okay. All right, that's all you have to do for the get HB requirements because if you already installed the toolbar, that's the same. This is the same, that's the same, that's the same, and that's the same. Nothing else has changed, just Moji Pro version 3.1. All right, real quick, what do we do with it? Interesting reading for later change log. Let me just show you what we did with a format font. Let me just kind of raise the font a little bit so it's easier to see. Should be easy. All right. Okay, here's what is changes with the V3.1. Now you can use domains that have two dots in the extension, like HTTP domain.co.uk or domain.net.au. Okay, and you should be able to use any such combination like that. Um, you can try any combination like that, Moji Pro, you know, for your domain name with the Moji Profile Creator, all that jazz. And if you find something does not work, still let us know. Uh, so we can make sure to allow that combination to work. But it should work now. You should be good to go. So those of you guys who've been asking for these features for your .co.uk domains or in Australia, your .net.au or anything like that, uh, you should be able to do anything like that now. Any kind of a double dot uh, should work now. And just let us know if something's not working. Okay, that's one. Treating FTP password as a text file. There were some guys who had symbols pop up in their FTP passwords that actually did break the profile. The profile would not work. And after troubleshooting, we found out because they had something like this in their password or even a percentage sign was in their password like that, but in a certain combination. So you might see a combination, who knows what, you know, like, like uh, that, whatever. And it was causing a break. And we couldn't figure it out until we realized that's what it was. 
And so we decided to go ahead and get rid of that or, or fix it. And so we fixed it. So now instead of having to aim for alphanumeric FTP passwords, which means host sponsor logins, right? In other words, when you do the client form, okay, you know, whether you do it as a client form or just inside step one, when you filled this out, I got Excel 2013, my password, some people had really weird host monster passwords, right? There's the host monster domain name, username, password, and the password would actually break it. So you create your new profile and you move it, you go to run it and it just would not work. And then if you tried to open it manually, it would not open. It would say badly formatted. And so anyway, we fixed that now. Now there's where the difference comes in, by the way. This is why we had to recreate this whole zip file and you have to download it all over again. Here's why. Uh, if you go into any one of those profiles, you're going to find it's a little bit different now. Here's what's different. If you right-click your original.pfl, for example, and you open it with Notepad, you're going to find there's a different format to the FTP form password. Now it's got this other format. Again, let me try to raise this thing up so you can see it better. Okay. So where it used to end with a closed carrot like that, and none of this was here at all, okay, now that's now no longer the case. Now it has this, and where it used to close with a closing FTP form password tag, now it doesn't close with that. It has a different sort of closing tag, just a self-closing tag. It is now a self-closing item. That's the idea. Uh, it won't let, let me show it to you, but anyway, that's the point. All right, it's a self-closing tag, so it has a different name. And then the same thing with the regular FTP password. Now, this doesn't close either. It's got the space pass equals, and then the password is specifically inside the double quotes both times, okay? <coughs> That's a self-closing tag. So any of you create your own, okay, I don't want to say anything. Any of you create your own versions of the profile, uh, you're creating your own for add-on domains or whatever the case is, and you're creating your own fields and stuff, uh, for your own profile, that's all fine and good. Just know, don't use the old version of the profile. Go get, go make a new version, you know. Uh, but when you download the Tumo GHB that we have up there now, they've been updated now, then they contain the updated version. So if you open this thing and hit get HB requirements, if it says Moji Pro V3.1, then all of the files inside of here are corrected for that. Right, so you don't have to worry about any of these things. Not there, not here, not here. They're all good. Everything is fine. They're all formatted correctly for that version. Okay, it's all formatted. Another thing I did was make it faster by setting the file count down from 200 per profile down to 50. And that was a good move too because a lot of people are do, using only like 50 keywords and 200 times 10 is 2,000. That's kind of overkill. That's like 40 pages per keyword. It doesn't make much sense. So working with folks and also being able to overclock the process a bit, I was just able to come up with a better streamlined version of the speed for everyone too uh, by just setting it for 500 page runs by default. Of course, you can always raise that. In your step one, you can right click the original, open with notepad, and you could change that original one to whatever you want. Now, keep in mind, if you want to make the change permanent, you got to make a copy of that thing, go in your backup and paste over the top of that. OK, that way your backup is also fixed up because whenever you hit this thing, it will delete that and take a copy from the backup and put it here. So this is always going to be a copy from the backup every time you hit this thing. OK, so make sure this and this both work together, that they're the same. Right. Um, and that way you always have the same thing replacing the same thing. That's what you want to guys would say real quick, just to show you a point. They say, what if I have different domains, uh, different usernames and passwords, and I fill this out and I try to save this and I close it, and it should have the information on it. But when I hit step two, it loses that information. And they say, what can I do to keep that? And the answer is make copies of these. Every time you fill them out before you hit step two, make a copy, paste it, give it a new name. Rename Moji dash samples. Here's the point. I can use this just as easily as I can use that. So I can use this, which would already be filled out because I would have filled it out. It would already have my domain username and password. So I just have to open it, run the macro, select the original and update it and boom. That way I don't have to lose all my domains. So if you have 10 different domains, make 10 of these things. Just copy paste, right? With the updated information in each case. 
Just something cool to know. All right. What else? Okay, that's right. Uh, the FTP tab in the left menu is now fully fixed. You can open a profile, hit save or whatever, um, click, flip through other profiles, whatever you want to do. Let me just kind of go to something else, just something completely different. Um, oh, I don't know what. Okay, here we go. I got a bunch of different profiles, right? You know how they all have the stuff on the FTP tab? So watch this. If I load one of these things, bam. Here used to be the problem. If you hit, if you were on this tab and you hit save like that, or even if you flip to this tab and flip and hit save, or if you flip back and forth and hit save just somewhere in there, the problem is you did not yet hit the FTP tab. And so if you hit save before you hit the FTP tab, you lost all the information on the FTP tab, but not anymore. Now it keeps the information. It keeps the right destination FTP URL. It doesn't just uh, default back uh, to the default, which would not be correct for most of you because it would have the project folder in it. And only those guys who know what they're doing would want the project folder in there. All right. So it, it would save the information, save the information, save the information. That means also I can load another one just like that. Okay, and I can flip and it's saving it. Even if I accidentally hit save first, I can, I'll see it's still there. It's no longer lost. I can load another one or whatever. Okay, I can do this. I can hit save. I can hit FTP. You won't lose this information anymore and it will be set up correctly just depending on what whatever you were trying to do, you know. So don't worry about it anymore. Save FTP. You can save as and do whatever else you want. You won't lose this information anymore. That's very, very cool. For those of you that ran into glitches and you chased them down, figured out it's because the information was vanishing from there. Not happening anymore. And that's all right. And I uh, already covered this bit about updates to the coding. And I already uh, covered this as of March 8, 2013 which is right around the corner here and I'll put this out tomorrow you know in like three two more hours it's going to be tomorrow uh, the two mo GHB zip it's going to be the new version with the v3.1 which is actually the case right now if you happen to be watching right now so this is it this is the one that's done uh, from here it's all about online automation uh, creating the online version of the whole thing uh, server side automation when people ask does that mean that we're going to take down the version you can use in your own computer no way <laughs> Don't see any point in doing that. Uh, you should be able to use either option, either or, one way or another. So, yeah, we're adding more and taking nothing away. In the meantime, those are the changes. Just to really quickly rehash, you can use domains with two dots, like .co.uk or .net.au or whatever you want. FTP passwords now treated like text, so you should not have a problem with uh, like uh, the profile creator breaking when it tries to produce a new version of the original .pfl or the system failing to produce the files because it can't read the FTP password properly. Now it will. So you're not going to have problems like that. And then finally, the FTP tab information is no longer lost. You can absolutely open the profiles and not feel like they're glitchy anymore. You can just open these profiles. You can open them from the interface over here. It doesn't matter which way you open them. They're no longer glitchy. That's my point. Nothing is left on the profile that can get lost through some combination of clicks or anything like that. It will all be there. Everything will be the way you left it and the way it's supposed to be. You can save it as something else and it'll still work. Again, all you need to know is you're on the Moji Professional 3.1, which comes with the latest version of the two Moji HP. Okay? that you're going to download now. <laughs> and that if you did get the art, if you did get the cube uh, templates, that they are now updated, go to your same links and re-download and open them up and you're gonna find that the profiles have the new format uh, applied to them. And you can use those with the V3.1, everything set. And the whole thing's gonna be faster, more streamlined because I set it to a file count of 50 per profile. That's 500 plus the supporting files, about 600 to 750 pages per run, depending on how many keywords you're actually using at one time. So if you use like 10 keywords uh, with a file count of 50, you're probably gonna get 600 pages. If you're using 100 keywords with a file count of 50, you're gonna get like a chunk more, I don't know, I forget, 850 or 1,000 pages, something like that. It's a fuzzy logic just to make sure that the um, 
the menu items are all filled in properly. It's just a function of uh, multiplication to get the whole thing to happen. So if you are going with 100 keywords, you probably need to raise your sleep interval a little bit. Uh, but I set it pretty sensibly, so I think you're going to like what you see. And I nailed down the uh, sleep time interval from 30 down to 5 because I find for the 64-bit only. Because I find for 64-bit, you guys almost always have 4 gig of RAM or better. And that's fine with uh, a sleep time interval of 5 seconds. That doesn't seem to be causing a problem. All right, guys, that's it. That's the version 3.1, Mochi Pro version 3.1. So now you know what's going on with that. And there you go. That's the end of the bug fixes that we're aware of. Onward and upward.